Hello and welcome. In this session, we will tell about how to summarize technical work. It is also called as an abstract. Abstracts are essentially an essence of the complete work. It is a shortened version of the entire work. In a sense, it contains an introduction, a literature, a problem, statement, the methodology adopted, results and implication. Abstracts are very important. Abstracts are the second thing that are usually read immediately after the title. And since abstracts are freely available, it is very important the abstract captures the essence of the paper. Abstracts are also widely indexed by the search engines. So therefore, if you make your abstracts clear with the correctly selected words, then people searching for a particular work will find the abstracts quicker. Abstracts like introduction are written twice. When you start writing your technical work, you first write an abstract which is called as the first draft which is for yourself as a guiding draft. This is for the author. This helps you to crystallize your thoughts on the paper. Once the whole paper is written, you will most likely find that what you started off in the abstract is very different from what you have written. And then you write one final polished version of for the reader. So first you have a guiding draft and finally the final polished draft. There are some standard guidelines available for writing abstracts. We have adopted the guidelines provided by the science magazine Nature. We have slightly adapted it for a more general audience. Now you could use this depending on the audience that you are writing the abstract for. But the way we have structured it, it is for a general scientific community. The structure of an abstract is as follows. You have a very broad introduction, it narrowed down and then again goes to broad implication. So keep this picture, this hourglass picture in mind. We start with an intro or introduction which is very wide and every scientist or an engineer must be able to understand at least a little bit of it. So one or two sentences of very broad introduction. This is followed by a little more detail which is usually understood by people in your discipline. For example, if you are from a particular department in a big university, the first line must be understood by everybody in the university and the second couple of lines must be understood by people in your department. Then comes the actual problem statement. The actual problem statement is what is it that you have set to find out. And then immediately following that is the main result. So the problem statement and the result which are the crux or the essence of your problem follow one after the other. Usually an article is answering one question and one answer. In that case you will just have one problem and one result. Suppose you are writing an abstract for a larger body of work, you might want to write separate paragraphs for each of these problems and their results. Now that you have stated the main result, use the next couple of sentences to tell what was expected normally. That is, from the existing knowledge what had people expected and what you found was different. Following this, 
you again expand it to a broader audience. Now you bring this, you have found something, what does it imply to people in your department? And what does it imply, the next line would be still broader perspective, what does it imply to people in your discipline or a general scientist or an engineer? So we start with a very broad introduction, which is for example to say your university, then come down to your department, then to the specific area or the problem. Then once you have stated the result, you go on to what does it imply to your department, what does it imply to a general audience. So this is a way you could structure abstracts. Thank you for listening.